California contains a dozen volcanoes which are monitored by the U.S. Geological Survey. Of these, the most recent to produce an eruption was Lassen Peak, which erupted in 1917. However, throughout the state there are also a number of lesser known more remote volcanoes. One of these volcanoes can be found within the southern portion of the Sierra Nevada mountain range where it is 85 miles east-southeast of the city of Fresno. From satellite, you can see the outlines of several recent lava flows and medium-sized volcanic cones. The volcano I'm referring to is called Golden Trout Creek, which will erupt again in the future. This video will discuss this volcano and mention what its future hazards are. The Golden Trout Creek Volcanic Complex contains a group of four moderately sized volcanic cones called cinder cones. These cinder cones each form through a mildly explosive prolonged eruptive series. The first eruption from this volcanic complex occurred 743,000 years ago when a volume of magma rose towards the surface. When this magma reached the surface, it initially erupted in an explosive manner as it interacted with waters in a nearby creek. Then, a fountain of lava shot several hundred feet into the sky. This lava eventually fell back to the ground, beginning a slow-moving rugged lava flow called Aa. -A. Eventually, intermittent explosions of ash began as bombs of lava and ash filled the summit crater with a small layer of rock. This rock would then cause a small amount of pressure to build via expanding gases before resulting in a small explosion. This explosion ejected bombs of lava and ash in a several thousand foot radius in what is termed a Strombolian style eruption. By the time this eruption had ended, a 285 foot tall and 2300 foot wide cinder cone had been constructed. For the next 560,000 years, this volcanic field lied dormant. Trees and other vegetation overgrew the existing cinder cone. Then, 176,000 years ago, a new eruption began four miles to the southeast. This eruptive sequence began constructing a new volcanic cone just to the east of Golden Trout Creek. In contrary to the prior eruption, this cinder cone produced lava flows which were much more fluid. As a result, while the cinder cone continued to grow in size, a long distance lava flow began flowing to the west. This lava flow ended up traveling six miles away before it stopped adjacent to the Kern River Canyon. By the time this eruption had ended, a 740 foot tall and 4400 foot wide cinder cone remained. Approximately 25,000 years later, a third eruption occurred several thousand feet to the north. This eruption was two orders of magnitude smaller and began on a granite-rich hill. Over the span of what likely lasted a few weeks, a small group of spatter cones were constructed from a northward trending fissure. The most recent eruption from this volcanic field was originally thought to have occurred 7,500 years ago, which caused it to be classified as an active volcano. However, more recent studies have determined that the last eruption occurred far more than 10,000 years ago, meaning that this volcano should no longer be listed as active. The eruption in question occurred at the youngest looking volcanic cone in the field called Groundhog Cone. As intermittent explosions of ash occurred once again, this cinder cone grew in size. Eventually, lava emerged on its flanks and began flowing to the west. This lava eventually traveled into the Kern River Canyon, possibly changing the course of the river for a short time span. By the time this eruption had ended, a 700 foot tall and 3000 foot wide cinder cone remained. Since then, no additional volcanic activity has occurred. If this volcanic field was to erupt again, it wouldn't pose much of a hazard to anyone other than hikers and campers in the vicinity. The main hazard from such an eruption would be long distance lava flows which could slowly travel up to 6 miles away. Along the way, such a lava flow would start wildfires and produce large amounts of carbon dioxide so areas down slope would need to be restricted. Additionally, any cinder cone forming eruption would produce intermittent explosions of ash which could affect regional air traffic. As a result of these hazards, the US Geological Survey designated Golden Trout Creek as a very low threat volcano. Overall, the odds of this volcanic field producing an eruption each year are about 1 in 60,000. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you'd like to request a specific topic, please leave a comment below. Additionally, if you wish to support this channel, consider becoming a patron on Patreon.